Today, Vizio announced its lineup of its 4K TVs for 2022-2023, um, and they are really, really feature-packed. You will love all of them, most of them. Basically, the first is their M series Quantum X model. Um, the 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 M series, the Quantum X model sets are loaded with pre at least premium features, performance that is tailored to gamers. If you're a gamer, you will love the MQX. Uh, the, 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 that's the short form for their M Quantum X series, basically. Now, it's gaming oriented, basically. Then they also launched their M series Quantum 6. They also launched their V series 4K TV. And then finally, they launched uh, their D series. Uh, the ID series so they launched a couple of models that should uh, intrigue a lot of um, people they, they launched a lot that that will intrigue a lot of people and the only thing they did not uh, launch here is um, OLED TVs that's the only thing that I couldn't see from the from today's reports for the for their release they, they just didn't release any uh, OLED TV so now what are we looking at with this uh new releases because uh, they are very very interesting they should uh intrigue a lot of people that will go out there to to look at these new sets okay so uh first of all they are very affordable tvs all these models they are very affordable tvs uh they, they sell at a relatively small price for instance the mqx uh the, the quantum x starts out at 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 630 dollars and pretty much tops out at 1200 dollars so that's the maximum you will pay for the mqx uh and that mqx set features quantum dots for enhanced colors it also has a full array led backlight uh with up to 32 local dimming zones and it also supports uh dolby vision hdr 10 plus that's massive at least for the price that's massive the mqx also is among the best gaming tvs that has been released for the year it's coming with four hdmi 2.1 inputs also uh has support for 4k 120 hertz that, that's really really massive it does also have amd FreeSync premium variable refresh rate um dolby vision auto gaming it's there it, it it's really really the best in that regard so look these new releases should be pleasing a lot of people there are there are more there are more that should be pleasing a lot of people that will be uh like going out there to look at getting their hands on this uh, another thing again is the another thing again is the uh another thing again is the refresh rate um look the 50 inch version ad additionally offers 1080p at 200 at 240 hertz uh that, that's for the gaming capability that it can give to users the mqx series is really really feature packed it's really really feature packed for a lot of uh for a lot of people it's really really feature packed for a lot of people now beyond that the mqx offers uh, features like wi-fi 6e uh the latest wi-fi 6e and the the sizes range from 65 inches all the way all the way up to 75 inches then the next model is the uh, the next model is the uh, m series quantum 6 uh the m series quantum 6 and also their v series model the, the, first of all the the m series quantum 6 starts from 40 43 inches and goes all the way up to 75 inches so the price range from 350 dollars goes all the way up to 950 dollars um so that, that that's one thing you have to know now the 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 m series quantum 6 offer many of the same features that is already existing on the uh m quantum x the mqx that i've just talked about now the only key difference is that it's a 60 hertz display instead of a 120 hertz display that is on the mqx so that's one of the difference that uh, separates the two 
now another another thing is the pricing is a lot more affordable compared to the mqx if you want something different as well you go for the v series model now the v series model the the price starts from 300 dollars and tops out at 780 dollars so that's the maximum amount you would pay the difference between this v series model uh against the quantum 6 and the mqx model is that this v series uh, model um removes quantum dots so there is no quantum dot and it's still uh, kind of like limited to 60 hertz uh that, that so that, that's the thing there is 60 hertz no 120 hertz uh that you can find on the mqx series so it, this is just a 60 hertz display but if 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 you if you want something that is a lot more affordable then you go for it it still gives you almost all the same convenience that you get from the mqx uh, for instance you have uh, an incredible wide array of smart apps which includes the company's watch free plus streaming service that is offering 200 plus free ads supported channels uh, each model also features a bluetooth audio output for the use of wireless headphone and also you have built-in apple airplay 2.0 the tv uh works very very seamlessly with your tablet, with your tablet and also your your smartphone um there is support for amazon amazon uh, no not amazon but th there is support for amazon alexa there is apple home kit support there is hey google integration on board it's it really gives you a lot now um the these new models are very very impressive they are not expensive they should be going head to head against the lg and sony brands um out there even samsung so that's one thing it's going to be going all up against now uh the company didn't announce oled tvs for now so uh it will be interesting to see if they update their oled model and what they do uh in the future in regards to that the final model that they released is their d series now the d series is going to be interesting for a lot of reasons because uh the, you know the d series is uh is a 1080p tv it, it, it it's just a 1080p tv you won't find quantum colors here you won't find hdr support here and it's only coming with wi-fi 5 support instead of wi-fi 6e support that is on the mqx so the, you won't have that uh, on this on the d series so the d series is the most affordable in their line in their lineup it starts from 160 dollars and caps out at 250 dollars so that's the maximum price you will even end up paying if you want to buy the d series model but it gives you support for amd free sync so you can uh, game with it it has a 60 hertz native refresh rate uh, it supports variable refresh rate. You still get your Apple AirPlay 2, Chromecast built into it, uh, smart home compatibility, Google Assistant, Amazon Alexa, HomeKit, everything is in there. Um, it should please a lot of people. But look, everything uh, you might be looking for about these new products their prices and their availability uh, will be there in the description for you to check out uh, i will make sure all the details are down there if you are really really interested in checking out these new products because they are going to be very interesting their prices don't uh they don't have a huge uh, it's not it doesn't have a huge price tag regardless so uh it's going to be very interesting so get all the details in the description and uh if you like this content Follow us here on our YouTube channel, subscribe, uh, like what we do here, uh, basically. Uh, I really do appreciate that, and I'll bring you guys more news like this. Uh, so, I'll see you guys very much next time.